And so I ordered something a while back. Uh, and by a while back, I mean quite a good freaking long ass time ago. And it seems, I think it has arrived. I'm not 100% sure what's in this. It seems based on the labeling and everything on it that it is fresh off the boat, especially considering the way it's packaged, which is with a substantial amount of packing tape. So considering it is fresh off the boat, we'll use a, a fellow knife fresh off the boat. This is the Kubi Atlas, the G10 variant. 14C 28N sweet knife. It's a sweet knife. It's no Colsa, but it'll do in a pinch. Um, Jack Mai is what it says. Uh, it's short. I, I think I know. Like I said, I think I know what it is, and so we're just gonna dig in so I can find out. Maybe I am right. Okay. There we go. Get this crap out of here. Based on the packaging, you should probably know what this is already. Behind the times a bit. I've kind of held off on these for a minute, but I gotta say, this is the first time I've seen their packaging. Um, wow. I love it. I, I what, why do I love this so much? It's so nice looking. It's very retro, this kind of vintage 70s advertising vibe. I'm a big fan of the packaging. Holy crap. On like a faux corkboard laminate countertop i don't know what i'm looking at but i like the way it looks there's the brand name you should know by now come on uh there is no model number on the outside of the box but we're gonna slip slide this beauty on out of here there we go and let's see what's inside Ooh. like i said i've i've held out for a good long time and finally i was like you know what screw it they're affordable and by affordable i mean like really like really affordable. Um, these things, a nice microfiber cloth, very nice, silky smooth, very good, lovely. And there she is. Nothing else. Nothing else. What the hell are these? For? Okay, we'll get. Too short. Uh, this is the petrified fish mini beluga in all of its front flipping liner lock budget friendly glory it is such a nice looking knife um based on the videos i had seen and the spec sheets i had read the full size the regular beluga is just immense is just a giant piece of cutlery but i've always loved the design and I did get the orange and black kind of g mascus deal on the scales because the Bengals went to the Super Bowl and you know, they did okay. They held their own, but they didn't win. It's fine. Nothing. It's everything's fine. Um, kind of wish there was a little more orange in there, but really nice looking G10. Feels nice too. Very subtle texturing on it. Nice deep carry clip. Pretty nice. Pretty sweet. And generally speaking, just a nice looking knife, man. Uh, let's see, let's see. Clip screws, so the clip's reversible, yeah. Very minimal hardware, one, two, one, what? Literally three screws. Backspacer, G10, exposed liners, stainless. Nice, very clean, very sensual. Big fuller, so this is a front flipper. Let's give her a shot, check the action out. Ooh, oh yeah, baby. There she is. I believe this is also 14C 28N. I believe. Yes, 14C 28N. Just such a clean profile. Such a great looking knife. No issues, like nothing to complain about. Action feels good. Can you use the fuller? Oh yeah, dude, all day. All day, that's nice. Nice and smooth, not like Super drop shutty. Front flipper works great. Solid. Solid. No lock rock, no blade play. Ergos, choke back. Feels great. A little bit of jimping here. Clips, no real hot spots, honestly, that I can feel. A little bit of a choil for choking up. Just a touch if you really need to, but pinch grip is lovely. Uh oh yeah 
What a, what a sweet looking knife. I don't know why I slept on this for so long. I think I paid $48 for this. Factory Edge feels okay. A little toothy for 14C, but smooth, no chippies, no chippy choppies. Yeah, what a great knife. Feels great. Clean, simple, elegant. Kind of, you get the, the PF on there. I'm really impressed by the packaging. <laughs> Still don't know what these are for. It is running on bearings, yes. Um, It is running on bearings. I believe the big one comes with like washers that you can trade in and out for the bearings. But this, these are just the spacers. So I don't know, but for 48 bucks, nice cloth, nice knife, some extra chunks of metal. Why not? Uh, let's, let's cut something with it. Yeah, I like it. I like the size a lot. Like this is a, this is like a great, I mean, the Atlas is kind of a big boy, but the mini Beluga here is a great size. Really well finished. $48. God, dude, they just keep getting better and better. Let's cut something. And uh, we'll zoom we'll zoom her on out. Just a tad. Check that edge. Like I said, it feels a little toothy. We'll see. Yeah, a little, little toothy tooth, but nicely done. Full flat grind. Not insanely thick blade stock. But a great blade. A great daily use blade. Wow. I don't know why I waited so long to check one of these out. Yeah. Ribbons. Ribbons for days. Ribbons for days. 48 bucks. It is amazing to me what you can get for $48. It's crazy. Great. Lovely. Wonderful. Love to see a good factory edge, man. This is something, look, 99% of factory edges suck, but it blows me away when a, a knife manufacturer can do it for $48, can like kill a factory edge and absolutely nail it. And I've paid two, 300 bucks for a knife and the factory edge was doo-doo. So I, yeah, I just um, kind of blown away. Petrified fish, man, the hype is real. What a great knife. Access to the uh, liner lock, super easy. No complaints. Like, no complaints. Just a great looking knife. Fidget factor's on point. Front flipper works great. Detents well dialed. Slices like a machine. I, I I don't know what else to say other than holy crap. I'm sorry I uh I'm sorry I slept on it for so long. Um I might have to pick up one of the full size ones now. Sweet knife. Petrified fish mini beluga. Solid. Excited for a full review. This is just the unboxing. So keep an eye out on the Instagram for more pictures and, you know, pretty stuff. And uh, a full review will be coming soon. But uh, other than that, you know, until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye now.